out. <laughs> That's so horrible. <laughs> that was so horrible. <laughs> It was, it was painful in a lot of ways. What's up, guys? <laughs> it's your host, Joel, with another Mix It Up Reactions here with my buddy, H. Jones. And we're here doing a little something different. Mixing it up. <laughs> Mainly because we found it. Well, I found it so funny. I had to post about it. But, okay, I don't watch, like, a lot of the world star hip hop or any fights like that. I don't really watch it. Unless it has funny elements to it, like they say something goofy. <sighs> but this treasure, this this treasure is like an early Christmas for me because it's the first time I've seen a human being like this who won. <sighs> he possesses such a depth of ignorance. It's it's just f- magical if i can be honest it's <laughs> magical it's a freaking unicorn i mean for one he has a bowl cut mullet <laughs> i mean that right there bowl cut mullet i don't even think dudes who wore mullets in the 60s and se- or in the 70s went mm, that dude's a little weird like i think <laughs> like like it's it's oh like it's i've never liked the haircut mullet even when i was growing up i was like you look like a moron just so you know like i think there's a reason we did away with that one we get away with what one no did away with that one like got rid of the mullet there were people still rocking that for a while though in the 90s and i was like (laughs) you're dirty (laughs) like do you do meth and that wasn't even a thing then (laughs) but yeah yeah uh (laughs) because <laughs> there's the joke type which is like a mullet is glorious like i get people that are making jokes about it and stuff like that that's funny but a bowl cut mullet man look at that hair look at that hair from the thumbnail it's unique <laughs> one of a kind it's like a it's like he's a 1991 country white rapper from the mountains who loves his uncle daddy like he just so we're going to check it out because we, <laughs> we think it's funny. And I figured, you know, we need to do this every now and then. Show dumb people on the Internet, you know, and just laugh at it. Yep. Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing it through tablet because my TV does not have. This is why we need the laptop for OBS software and all yeah. that. It's because that way we could actually search anything. Because now I got to pull this video up later and the audio is going to be crap. No. <clears throat> so we're going to check out. Bowl cut <laughs> mullet guy at a Dallas Stars game gets rocked because he title. said a bad word. <laughs> How about you step down here and I'll talk to you. All right, then. Make it a football Yo! It's so perfect. <laughs> like, no self defense. Self defense. He hit me first. Yeah. yeah. Hit the, me mi- first. the minute he realized, oh, oh, going down, I'm going to sit beside him. I'm going to lay beside him right now. The minute he knew that, he was like, no, he hit me first. He did everything. I did nothing. I just you know? stood up and he saw swinging. Yeah, dude. That's, oh, that video is so perfect. And what's funny is one guy did catch it, but like on Sports Center when they're like showing the game and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> on Sports Center, they somehow caught him before all this happened. <laughs> and it was he was wearing a hoodie, and like they were like, Oh, look, fans are getting ready for the Dallas Stars game, blah 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 blah. And like this guy pulls his hoodie off. He's like, Oh, it's a camera with some lights. And he's like, Let me Revlon this shit. <laughs> and like went. <laughs> and like he could have fluffed the mullet when he did and he like geeking and everything like trying to look cool and shit 40 minutes later he's getting ejected from the place because he got rocked by a dad bod 
Oh, it's so amazing. But well, just remember when you want to fight somebody at a stadium, when they're yeah. higher yeah. than you, yeah. you're going to lose that's, pretty much every time. That's the, well, one that and the guy actually did have reach. Yeah. So it's a double, <laughs> it's a double <laughs> whammy there. Nope, nope, nope. Sit, stop, stop. I mean, it. he could have literally it. put his hand on that dude's forehead and been like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Like, just, oh my goodness. Oh, that made me so happy. <laughs> When I saw that, and then I saw another guy do an edit of the video, and it was so perfect. It was like showing that goofy Revlon clip at the beginning, like, you know, him sporting his fresh mold. <laughs> and uh, it goes, then you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And then it shows him getting rocked in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, whoever edited this is perfect. Because it literally came, like, within 12 hours, like, so many gifts and memes came out. And I'm like, like oh, my God, you cartoon moron. <sighs> yep, that's what Texas is going to be known for a little while. That's right. Got to go to a Stars game. And what's funny is they were both Stars fans. That's what's hilarious. Mm -hmm. That makes it so much worse. Because the other dude was perfectly fine. He wasn't biting in on what this guy was saying. Mm -hmm. The minute he used that that (laughs) N-word, you know, they're both white guys. It was weird, but yeah. It was just funny watching him. It was like in his head, the guy's like, come down here, I'm going to box your ass. (laughs) And he's like, no. Get out of my seat. And then all of a sudden, like, he's like, yeah, it's what I thought. And the minute he said it, the guy goes, all right. <laughs> and the slowest fist comes towards him. And he's like, no. This <laughs> 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 is <just> perfect. <laughs> I wish I could get the other videos I saw, too, but. <clears throat> One guy made a gift that was so freaking perfect. When he gets punched in the face, his mullet grows angel wings and flies off to the heavens. It was fucking hilarious. It made me laugh so hard. Oh. Mm. I think if he would have been at a football game instead of a hockey game where there's more dark toned people, he might have ended up even worse. That's definitely true. Yeah. That's definitely true. Because there'd have been more people around and say, what did he say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you heard that? I heard that. Like, I was talking to that white guy. <laughs> that seems inappropriate. <laughs> no, but it's funny though. Like, there's another video where this person on the other side of the ring saw the fight happen and then saw the aftermath. And they he's go he's getting led up the stands by security guards who are about to meet cops, and he's about to be dejected. And uh, he keeps putting his foot on the steps, like. Yeah, come up here and meet me. Come up here and meet me. I'm like, dude, you are sporting a skullet. (laughs) And you, well, not almost a skullet. It's a bowl cut (laughs) mullet is what it is. And he's like trying to be hard. And he's like, he has to be like 22. Yeah. Because he had a bear in his hand. So he has to be like 22, 23. And he can't be 22. What 22, 23 year olds like, I'm going to have a bowl cut mullet. Is that really, really a style? There's some in Dallas. <sighs> I've been to Dallas lately. I really don't want to go visit Dallas. <laughs> like that's how bad that is. Is I don't want to visit Dallas because of that guy. <laughs> he's ruined Dallas for me. No, he's not. I love Gas Monkey Garage. <laughs> love you, Richard. Anyways, no, that's oh, that's just so funny. I don't. <laughs> I want to make like a Maybelline commercial with that clip. <laughs> so bad. Like, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> maybe change the words. Maybe it's stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. And you know what? He's probably going to be like, damn, dude. I'm going to be made fun of for like two years. <laughs> no, no. So it's fancy. He hit me first. He just hit me. Yeah, right. He no, sucker no. punched me. Uh, I wasn't ready for it. When he hits his 30s, he better <laughs> delete that haircut like now. <laughs> because if he does cut it, no one's going to know it's him. True. If he keeps it, everyone's going to know oh, it's him. Oh, you got from the game. Hey, you're that bowl cut <laughs> mullet moron. <laughs> hey, man. What? Don't be talking mess. I got a faster fist than him. Okay. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah, that dude got rocked. <laughs> His face was so stunned. And the minute he like, oh, I'm going to beat your ass. And like, 
Oh, didn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, so the dad bod, as you called him, just that's, literally stiff arm him. That's that's a parent <laughs> with the kids. Oh, you want to have an attitude? You want to fight? No, sit down, yeah. sit, sit down, yeah. sit down, sit down. Okay, now go to sleep. Go to sleep. Stop. And, Stop. And the You're girlfriend, not going in this. <laughs> girlfriend goes nuts and actually hits him a couple times compared mm. to the dude. And then literally he's like, oh, hold on. Let me put this one to nap. Yeah. Okay, can you, you stop, 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 stop. <laughs> and then of course the guy behind him, the guy behind him is like, little boy, little boy. And he pets his head, fixes his hair and shit. Little boy, calm down, little boy. Nah, fuck that, fuck that. Calm that, fuck that. Eat me first. That's some thug ghetto goofness. It's just goofness. What's that? The gang's delicious. <laughs> no, it's delicious. That's it's definitely game. not that. My <laughs> God. That guy. Like, we did 20 minutes on that guy. I didn't think it was going to go five minutes. We'd laugh about it and then move on. No, there's much more to talk about. Well, it took a while to find it. It may not be a full 20. Mm. <laughs> may not be a full 20. You're right. We didn't re record. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This guy. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Just a ray of human sunshine <laughs> and enjoyment and fulfillment. I know I did. I said at the beginning, so I'm a jerk. Uh, like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Know when By things are way. going on. Uh, check out Barcode Original and some of our hoodies and stuff. Go to the MK5, MK number five store.com. And then, uh, you know, join the Patreon if you want to. We haven't done anything on it. It's got the earlier stuff on it. We haven't done anything on it yet. Until people actually sign up for it, I'm not going to put extra work in and make posts and, and voting and all that crap. Somebody go in there and make your work. <sighs> do it. And if I don't do it right away, don't feel bad. I probably haven't noticed you've signed up. <laughs> I don't check get, it every now and then because it makes me super sad. <laughs> because <laughs> think about oh. it you go and check it and it's like did someone sign up no <laughs> yeah no but by the way that's what my face does look like when i start to cry oh yeah i have baby face it's a horrible ugly crying baby <laughs> and my eyes go squinty and get wet and yeah, then I just cry like a baby. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I ugly cry like I ugly laugh. It's okay, though. I just make people feel uncomfortable. And that's the fucking point of it, you know? Oh, well. I don't want to be around you when you cry. No. Not going to bring any anything sad. No puppies. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, you know what's funny is I've said that before and I've had ex-girlfriends actually try to make me watch sad movies to see if I'll do it naturally. I'm like, I can tell you that the five movies that make me cry are like Saving Private Ryan makes me cry like a baby. Hugh Jackman in uh, Greatest Showman. There are a couple parts in that show. It does make me cry a little bit. When the girls are singing to their father about the possibilities and the endless wonder and all that stuff, it makes, and he's looking very depressed because he knows he can't give them what they want. Okay. Which is I've very it, sad. It's been a while since I've seen it. And then, of course, the Efron Zendaya song where they're like realizing at the end of it that uh, they can't be together. I'm like, yeah. that's super depressing to be like, I love you. Everything's possible. No, we can't be together. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. No, we really can't. And then like yeah. leave. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's depressing. Thank you <laughs> for bringing me up in a minute, bringing me back down. But uh, yeah, there's that one. And then uh, what other one does me on? It's another war movie. Braveheart. Actually, no. funny enough, I've fallen asleep during that movie. Like twice. You know when they kill him, he's like, Fredo! I, I don't know why. Like, oh. I really don't know why. Also fell asleep oh. during Rob Roy, too. Weird. About Glory? Rob Roy. No, no, I'm saying Glory. You just said it's a war movie. No, it wasn't Glory. That was a good movie. That though. one. That I was, was a like, really good movie. <laughs> this, thing, this movie up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think now, man. Oh, I know what one Patch Adams. I don't think it's on that one. Oh, that'll rip your heart out. Was that was that Robin Williams? 
Okay. Yeah, I hadn't actually seen that one. And then uh, another Robin Williams, What Dreams May Come. Uh, that movie got to have some mental health issues to watch it because uh, it will rip your heart out, stomp on it, explode it. And it'll be like, oh, happiness is coming. Nope. Is happiness coming now? Nope. Is happiness here finally? Nope. Do we get to find happiness? Maybe. Nope. <laughs> like, it's like the whole movie is just like ah, rah, 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 rah. like you're just getting walk up walk up walk up like it's it's horribly depressing <laughs> I don't think I want to see that one it's <laughs> hardcore sad and it's got Cuba Gooden Jr. in it he does an amazing job Ron Williams does an amazing job it's just very dark subject matter mm. <clears throat> but it's a an amazing movie though it is a good movie to watch hopefully will make you cry unless you're a heartless fiend but yeah uh other than that actually you will definitely cry that's because you've got kids oh okay but uh i ain't no bitch (laughs) (laughs) you had to go to that that's funny (laughs) i ain't no bitch you can't make me cry you gonna definitely cry you gonna cry in the car you gonna cry (laughs) motherfucker yeah (laughs) <laughs> uh, this video kind of got away from us a little bit it's okay though it's fine uh yeah uh, like and subscribe check out stuff look at things click buttons whatever yeah. uh up. you guys have a great day night night day what i don't know when people I watch think, these things. i think we record it and our fans are at nighttime oh really they're actually watching fairly early from different countries yeah it might be nighttime for them yeah Good night. Good night, guys. <laughs> have fun. Hey, be nice to each other. Be kind. And cut your hair if you have a mullet. Oh, if you have a bowl cut mullet in the picture, <laughs> but then cut it. Don't keep that haircut. Please don't. Like, if you have that haircut, you could be Albert Einstein. I'd be like, oh, you're really dumb. You'd be like, no, actually, I'm the most intelligent person in the world. No, you're not. You have that haircut. <laughs> intelligent people don't wear haircuts like that. <laughs> Even Albert Einstein's <laughs> hair looked dope. <laughs> he looked crazy, but he looked dope. <laughs> you just look like you do meth and bang your cousin's sister. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. I'm having too many visuals of bowl cut mullet guy. <laughs> talk to you guys later. <laughs>